Hello, all you powerful beings of love and light. Welcome to your Pisces new moon reading. And this Pisces new moon is going to be at its fullest on March 2nd of 2022, around 12.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can calculate where that is in your time zone. And there is this wonderful beginning of this next cycle. You know, we have, of course, every 28 or 29 days, the new moon, full moon, always changing. The moon's always going every few days into a new sign. But there's this beautiful full moon, new moon cycle as well that happens around every five to six months. So the last full moon we had, which I'll show you this card here, was back on September 20th of last year. And you can see that it was talking about balancing spirituality and practicality. And that's the energy that we were having around that time taking practical steps towards our dreams and towards our goals, trusting our intuition. And with like the full moon, when it when it's its fullest, immediately the light starts to leave the full moon. And that's the energy that was happening too, is there was these endings, or at least the beginning of endings, as the light began to leave the full moon. And so this whole six month period has been about that journey and also a time of diving deep into our emotions because Pisces, you know, they're the fish, they dive deep into that water, into that emotional waters that we are. So these last six months, there's been a lot of that energy going on and we are ready for this new moon in Pisces to come around. Another beautiful card and you can see here, it says, attune to the divine. So the energy that's coming around this new moon in Pisces is about connecting to your higher self. And whereas before it was all these practical steps and making sure you're doing all the work, now we're going into this beautiful flow where it's asking us just to slip into that flow of life, flow along with our dreams, embrace what is going on. And when we do that, when we connect to our higher self and just go with that flow, then we want what is happening in our life. And what is happening in our life is what we want. We don't get so attached to the outcomes of the future or reflecting on all the mistakes and the should-haves of the past. We get to really embrace this moment and in connecting and staying in tune with our higher self. It just allows us to be further on our way to feeling blissfully happy and in tune with our dreams. So I am going to have a separate card reading for each zodiac sign and we're going to dig in more into this dream and this flow of life and what the creator wants you to know and how you can use this Pisces new moon energy. So we're jumping into your reading right now. All right, all my Capricorns, this is your reading for the Pisces new moon and we're going to start off by pulling a card here from this high vibe deck and just see what the creator wants you to know for this Pisces new moon for you. One more time. All right, so what do you want our Capricorns to know about this Pisces new moon, please? Okay, they want this one right here. Do you have a barefoot? And that says, walk barefoot, take off your shoes and feel the ground, inside or outside. For full benefit, walk on a natural surface like grass or imagine walking barefoot on a warm beach. Connecting with the ground charges your body with the Earth's energy and its natural good vibrations. So definitely there's this grounding energy here, which Earth energy, that's you, you are an Earth sign. So this is very much about connecting to that Earth energy and feeling grounded around this Pisces new moon. We're also gonna pull from these black tarot, which is gonna represent messages from your shadow. And your shadow is like your tour guide through this giant amusement park of fear that we're on a journey through. And it allows you to kind of get messages from your shadow about your subconscious around those programs that are still running 
impacting your life, but they're minimized. So they're programs that are behind the scenes. You may not understand, why do I feel this way? Why do, you, why do I always do this? And it's because there's something running behind the scenes. And this shadow is a truth teller for you. And they're going to be bringing those messages for you. So we're going to start off with that. Okay, they do want those two. Any others? Okay, they want that one. Any others? Nope, just those three. So we'll start off with those. And then we're also going to pull from this Sun and Moon Tarot. And these are going to be messages from the higher realm, from the Creator and Spirit, your whole posse of supportive beings, of unconditional love and light on the other side, including your angels and your spirit guides, loved ones on the other side, your ancestors, any of those beautiful, beautiful beings. And so we're just going to see what they would like you to know here. Okay, I do want that one there and that one there. What else? Okay, I do want that one. Okay, so we will just spread these out a little bit and we will start with this one here. And you have the Knight of Spheres, which would be the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knights are about action. So this is about movement. Pentacles are your outside world. And so this message from your shadow is about a message of patience. I know it's like a dirty word, right? But it's about knowing that you have things changing within you, you know, in your mind and your emotions and your drive and your ambition. All those things are on the inside and those things change like that. But the outside world does have its seasons and you do change from the inside out, not the outside in. So they're letting you know this message of that, you know, just remember that things on the outside aren't going to move as fast as you're moving on the inside and things are changing. Because you do have this three of wands here and the wands are your drive, your ambition, your spark, your aha inspiration. And this is about kind of like this change of plans. Like you might have had like the ace of wands, which have been finding a new passion, having a new spark, which then leads you to the two of wands, which is about making plans and putting that passion into action. And the three of wands is like you're, you've made progress and you've, you've been going along the way, like it's talking about things have been progressing on the outside, but because of changes that you've made on the inside, you're ready to make an alteration to your, your plan. So you might have went from A to B, and then from B you were going to go to C this way, but now you want to go C this way. And so there is this message of things on the outside move slower because if, if it moved as fast as your inside, it would be so much more chaotic than it is already on the outside world because we change so much on the inside that the world would constantly be changing so much more than it already does. And so it's a good thing that it takes time for things on the outside to catch up because we're um, able to adapt and change things um, you know, as we change on the inside, if that makes sense. And then they also want you to know you've got the Nine of Spheres, which would be the Nine of Pentacles. And this is kind of like this wish fulfillment card in the outside world. So you have the Knight of Spheres, and then you have the Nine of Spheres. So you've got both this outside things happening. And it's, it's like there's this shadow message saying that the outside world is going to be fine. It always is. And it's always moving. It's moving in perfect order. There's three months for spring and three months for summer and three months for fall and three months for winter to come back to spring again. And that there's all this beautiful unfolding of things in the outside world. And though we may not realize it at the time it is perfect it may not be matching up to our like our inner critic on all the supposed to be's and should be's and need to be's but i bet there's going to be something in here about our swords and about our beliefs and how we perceive things and they want me to do this other shadow card here first before we go to these other ones yeah okay so the nine of swords so just as i was saying 
this is the the expectations card um, not, not so much the expectations card but the the nightmare and insomnia card because of expectations you have all these thoughts and all these beliefs like I was talking about the shoulds the need tos the have tos the supposed tos all that out there that literally we're trying so hard to make them happen and try to be in control of them it's like trying to herd a bunch of cats and so we are exhausted we're having trouble sleeping because we have all this stress on our minds and it rolls over into our dreams or we're dreaming about stuff and this nine so you have two nines here and nines are about an inner search so when you look at the major arcana the nine is the hermit and the hermit goes inward to find its wisdom to find its inner light and then it brings in that higher wisdom and it understands the world in, in a completely different way and so these two nines together definitely is this awareness that the subconscious wants you to know that all this stress is what's making you think the outside world is not perfect it's falling short and you're disappointed in it and so that's coming up here but I love the three of wands because you're changing positions there yeah because here's the five of cups cups are your emotions and fives are about a transformation and you can see here there's three cups floating in the water here these are the outside things that we were talking about before that left you disappointed you know relationships out there situations out there um, and possessions or your body right like your you know bank account and the things you own and then your physical body those three cups represent those three different areas and as with all these expectations looking outside there we found that you know those relationships were disappointing because people change or people pass away whether that's a family or romance or friendship or work peers or whatever it might be they were disappointing and left you feeling empty the jobs and education and different circumstances that we have that we're told are supposed to make us feel home complete and validated <laughs> nope disappointed us too because those things aren't stable situations never stay the same and then of course things and body and bank accounts you know those things are unstable because things deteriorate break down or are stolen or burned down so those three cups are floating out there because they disappointed us but don't give up because you have those two cups that this individual is looking into right there and those two cups represent the two of you the two sides of you the human side is one and the other is the chalice it's the holy grail it's the spiritual cup it holds the living waters which is the unconditional love of the creator of all things it's truly what we're thirsting for we don't find it out there but we get disappointed enough out there that we turn in here and is it important it is important for us to go through this process because we come here to experience the disappointment in external things because back home we have everything we we are full of unconditional love and joy and peace and laughter but we don't realize we are it's like here you don't realize you're uh, you know breathing air until you're six feet underwater looking up at air and you're like I have a new understanding of what air is because I'm down here in non-air and I uh, you know understand it more I appreciate it more and I want to swim back toward it right because <laughs> I want that air same thing here you know all that by experiencing the conditional and the disappointment and all those other emotions of fear we more fully understand the, our higher self so it's important for us to experience those three cups but now you're ready to move into this two cups uh, understanding this two cup relationship between your higher and your lower self to move into that yeah because <laughs> here's the judgment card so here's your lower self here's your higher self this is announcement 20 x plus x that's 20 2 plus 0 is 2 uh, here's your two of cups and these two here and i actually have a new series that um, came out this year it's a free series video series has a video each week anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes 
and it is called you times two. It's all about understanding the two of you that are living this human experience together. So I have that linked at the end in one of the corners at the end of the video. So I really, this message here is really gu guiding you and kind of nudging you to check that out so that you can build that relationship with your higher self because that is what's going to free you from these nine of swords and all these expectations, all this conditional, because you're going to flood yourself with this beautiful unconditional energy instead, that living waters. And then you have, yeah, so you have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is a beautiful gift because it, one, it allows you to connect to the capital T truce of the higher realm, but it also allows you to cut away the small T truce of this nine of swords. So these thoughts and these beliefs that you had that helped you create this disappointment of those three cups that are floating in the river, those happened on purpose for a purpose, but you are ready to move to a new level. It's no longer fitting in with your journey. And so this Ace of Swords appears to help you see things from that higher point of view, the capital T truce, and cut away the small T truce. So there is this definite grounding that's coming in here because you're grounding yourself in who you really are. And that has to do with connecting to this higher realm, remembering that you are so much more than this human that's walking around on the planet. You, that's the character. The actor behind this character is the real true you. It is a powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being made of unconditional love. This is you flying around up here, right? <laughs> so I love this for you. It's a beautiful, um, yeah, and I mean, Pisces new moon, we were talking about that it is a, a time for you to attune with the divine and to connect to your higher self. And so this definitely is this nudge for you to go, yeah, go check this out. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to leave the reading there. I'll let you know in addition to these new moon readings, of course, I do full moon readings. I do monthly readings for each zodiac sign, also weekly energy updates by each of the elements like fire signs, water signs, etc., and a few other types of videos. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click that like button, also click on the subscribe button and that'll give you access to this notification button when you go into that setting if you select all then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out and won't miss out on any of the messages also doing those things helps spread the love because when you like a video or share a video or subscribe to a channel it makes the YouTube algorithm so happy and it wants to share these videos with other people as well so if you want to do any of those things I of course am greatly appreciative of that and these are general readings. If you want even more specific information for your life, I do offer personal readings. And all that information is listed in the description box below, so you can check it out there. All right, all you Capricorns, as you go throughout each and every second of every day of your life, please know that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing new moon, and I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. And until then, you take care.